Mr. Collins' sexual orientation has nothing to do with this case. Please have a seat, Miss Kinney. Would you approach the bench, Mr. Miller? Could you kindly share with me exactly what's going on inside your head? Because at this moment, I don't have a clue. Your Honor, everybody in this courtroom is thinking about sexual orientation, you know, sexual preference, whatever you want to call it. Who does what to whom and how they do it? I mean, they're looking at Andrew Beckett. They're thinking about it. They're looking at Mr. Wheeler, Miss Conine, even you, Your Honor. They're wondering about it. <laughs> Trust me, I know that they are looking at me and thinking about it. So let's just get it out in the open. Let's, let's, let's get it out of the closet. Because this case is not just about AIDS, is it? So let's talk about what this case is really all about. The general public's hatred, our loathing, our fear of homosexuals. And how that climate of hatred and fear translated into the firing of this particular homosexual. My client. Andrew Beck. Please have a seat, Mr. Miller. Very good. In this courtroom, Mr. Miller, justice is blind to matters of race, creed, color, religion, and sexual orientation. With all due respect, Your Honor, we don't live in this courtroom, though, do we? 